Hi there, Johnny Daniel, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up. How are you today? I don't know about you, but I've had a pretty good day. I mean, look, I got inky fingers. But as we're starting tonight, I wanna to remind you of a couple of things. First, um, the bonus days are going on this month. So if you plan on spending $50 in product, you will get a $5 coupon or voucher to spend in August. There's no minimum on that. So if you did a $5 order, you would get $5 off. And that's how that goes. Um, in August, that is. You still have to spend the 50 in July. Um, also, there's a huge bonus right now. And I say huge because usually there's no bonus. So any bonus is huge, in my opinion, um, for signing up right now. So the $99 usually gets you $125 in product as well as business supplies, catalogs, order forms, that kind of thing. Um, but this month it is getting you $155 in product, so an extra 30, and then on top of it, next month in August, you will get a $10 off coupon voucher that will be emailed to you as soon as the kit order is placed. So a couple great things going on right now. Um, if you don't know, I am taking some family time next week. So next Wednesday, we will not have the live. There will be some other goodies posted, so keep up with that, but I will not be live. I will be looking at trees and doing all kinds of fun things, because every once in a while you gotta change the scenery, right? So with all of that, I am going to make you fly, and we're going to um, position you down so we can see what we're creating tonight. So hold on just a second. Hey Jude, how are you, honey? I don't know who else is on, but I will say hello, Jude. I'm so glad we got all that worked out. Because I would hate to think that things didn't work out. Huh. So, let's see what we got here. I gotta go a little bit down, I'm sorry to move ya but I wanna make sure you have a good view, okay? So I think we're good for moving. Now I'm gonna get the computer set up. And I guess while I'm doing all this, I can ask you, what'd you have for dinner, right? I actually got to eat beforehand. Usually I'm scrambling after, but I actually got to eat before, and it's a good feeling to be full <laughs> instead of starving while I'm doing this, but that's okay. Whatever it is and however I can have some fun with you and some therapy with you is a good day. So regardless if I'm hungry or not, that's what a little bit of candy is for, right? So with that being said, tonight we are going to be doing a Christmas in July project. Yes, I want you to start thinking that way. Part of it is because a lot of my friends earned this great incentive trip. They're in Greece right now. And that allowed them to already have product from the holiday catalog, believe it or not, that starts in September. And with that being said, hey Cheryl, how are you, hun? Um, with that being said, they already have the holiday catalog which I'm pretty jealous of, I will be honest with you. Um, I get mine, I believe it's in August. So I am waiting, 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 waiting to see what new stuff is coming, of course. Um, the other thing I should say is the tin tile embossing folder, 3D embossing folder is back in stock. So thank God we're starting to get things back going again, but um, that is what's going on, okay? So for tonight's project, you probably saw a sneak peek this morning with two circles, and you're going, what in the world? She has lost her mind. Well, I have a little. If you've been around for a minute, you know that already. So we're not going there, are we? But we are actually making <laughs> a candy cane. Hey, Shirley, how are you? Um, we are actually making a candy cane out of circles. I want you guys to start thinking outside the box in the sense of like we don't already, but 
I want you to start thinking outside the box in the sense of it doesn't always have to be the perfect set for you to be able to do your card. So for instance, I don't have a lot of Christmas stuff right now. In fact, some of it just came in for my Christmas and July stuff. And so I was waiting, waiting, waiting and trying to figure out what I was going to do for tonight. And I'll be honest with you, stressing out a little bit. And I started looking at what I had. I started taking my own advice. <gasps> I know for shame. So, um, for tonight, we are going to be playing with circles and making it Christmas. No, we're not doing a wreath, by the way. That would be the easy way out, right? So, so for tonight, I have, if you're capturing the list, as it were, I have a thick piece of Whisper White cardstock cut in half and then scored, you know the drill, right? Four and a, or five and a half. So the 11 inch side, you're going to cut in half, cut it at five and a half, and then you're going to score at four and a quarter, which is halfway for the eight and a half side. So yeah, I thought, you know, we might want to start thinking about Christmas too, because, well, gosh, it's only been 105 today. So I was just thinking it might be a nice reprieve to think about snowflakes or something. So anyways, <laughs> you are welcome. So for this card... <laughs> we'll get back to it we are doing a whisper white thick card base you can pick vanilla you can pick whatever you want but you will see in a minute why I'm picking white um, this is the new shaded spruce color which to me is a great primary green with a touch more deep um, richness running through it so yes I buy a lot of glue okay so, I'm going to try to center this. That's always my challenge, right? Okay. So, now, what I'm going to do is I have cut a bunch of circles. Red and white circles. Okay? Scalloped circles. So I took the circle layer dies. If you have a small punch, go for it. Um, they're about three quarters of an inch wide in diameter. So FYI for you, um, you can use glue dots, you can use dimensionals, or you can use snail, whatever you're most comfortable with, or the least mess for while you're watching TV or, you know, whatever. This is one of those kind of cards that's a great while you're watching and while you're doing kind of card. Okay. So for this one, we are going to be using our dimensionals. Now, when you cut, you want to make sure you get the proper side because there is a side where it kind of cuts down and then there's a side where it kind of goes flat. The flat side to me is the back. You'll see the difference, I promise. And yes, I, I did a boo-boo. I sliced my finger a couple days ago by replacing the trimmer blade. So maybe that's why we discontinued that darn trimmer, huh? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it does still hurt. So I'm not quite, um, my dexterity is not quite as good as it normally is. So I've just got my alternating red and white circles and we're gonna do a candy cane and I'm not liking how this is popping up. So what I'm gonna do I'm still going to use the dimensionals. I'm going to tear this one off though. And what I'm going to do is actually put it on the edge. So when I do put it down, it's going to be flat up against, and then the dimensional will be on the actual cardstock instead of um, pop, making it all pop up. If you want to use snail instead, oh, I just put it in the middle. If you want to use snail instead, feel free. It's whatever you're most comfortable with, what kind of look you want, you know, all those kind of things. But I figured I'd be different. Gee, what a surprise, right? I'm going to put it up there if it kills me, and it just might, huh? So I'm going to start doing my curve now, and I'm just working on my candy cane. I put it in the middle again almost. Didn't stick down though. <laughs> hey Barb, how are you? 
I'm glad you found me, hun. I actually put the link in it this time because I thought, eh, people have been having trouble finding me. So let me put the link. I don't know if that helped you or not, but that is what I did differently this time. So we will see. And I need this to go on the outside. You need all this thinking, right? Okay. So we're going to start going down now because I'm just doing the shape of a candy cane. Yes, I know. It's early in the year and all that stuff. But guess what? I started last year at the end of August for Christmas and I never got my own cards done. So guess what I'm not doing this year? I am getting my cards done. I don't like where that got placed. Hold on. So I am getting my cards done no matter what. So I'm even starting earlier than last year because I'm not going to receive a whole bunch of cards and not even mail one. <laughs> That's just not right, at least in my opinion. So, you know, some days it's just what happens now, isn't it? So, how was the earthquake in our area? Cheryl, do you want to answer that, honey? <laughs> so, it was a little bit of rock and roll. I've been through worse, I will say that, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Um, in our area, nothing really fell, nothing really happened. But honestly, I mean, I have some friends up in Red Ridgecrest and up that area. And, yeah, that was a little much for them. But it's all in where you are, right? It's always where you are and who you know, right? So yeah. So if you haven't caught on, this is what I'm doing. And when you get to the end of your dimensionals, don't throw away the frame. Use it. If you don't know that by now. You don't want to ever throw any potential product away. Right, Miss Cheryl? Now, Cheryl goes to the extreme and even makes confetti of the scraps. So, oh, you didn't even feel it, huh? Not both of them? My goodness, you got lucky then, girl. Because they were definitely rockers. But I was home, creating, sitting still, so I definitely felt them. So, let's see here. Let's see, I don't think I can get this to go any faster, guys. Sorry. But we can sit and talk for a second. Um, so let's see. So earthquake, yeah. Um, my first Christmas class will be at the end of the month. So we're going to hit Christmas in July. Um, I've got my 13th anniversary party coming up. Yes, I am taking a vacation. Yes, I will probably be doing a tiny bit of planning. But honestly, I need to go do a, some change of scenery to get some new ideas, if you hear what I'm saying happens to the best of us right so I still got ideas coming in but sometimes you just need to go take a walk <laughs> so you didn't feel either one well you got lucky girl cuz they were pretty good so as you can see this is coming along I hope at least you can see, right? So we're going to keep going. I'm almost done. Because this is what we're doing tonight. So I want you guys to start thinking a little bit differently. This would also make a good wreath. But you know, I knew that you would think of that, right? Because that's the automatic when you see a circle is to do a wreath. Because that's the same kind of shape. So I thought... What else could this be? What else could this be? So I thought, oh, candy cane. Okay. So that's what we got. That's what came out of my head. <laughs> so with that, okay, we've got that done. Now you can make it go down further or not. But I'm about out of sticking on circles. Okay. And then I'm just going to stamp here. So I've got a couple sets that I ordered. Now, one of them I had pre previously, um, but because the mounting changed, I reordered my Dashing Deer. Um, Dashing Deer, 
hopefully if all things work out, is going to become our first Chibitronics card. What that means, Chibitronics, not sure exactly what that means. I just know that that means mini LED light. So that's gonna mean we have some lights going on, okay? Um, so for this one though, um, this is lots of cheer. This is a new one out of the annual catalog. And let's see. So for tonight, which one did I pick? The May Your Christmas Be Wrapped in Holiday Spirit. Kind of a pun on a candy cane since it's wrapped, right? Okay. I am done now with the jokes. <laughs> so we're going to do some shaded spruce for ink. And I've got my May Your Christmas Be Wrapped in Holiday Spirit. I'm going to do it here on the bottom. Okay. You always want to give that a couple of seconds for that ink to go into the paper. Um, it dries a little bit quicker, gives a better image, doesn't smear as much, just all the way around a better image. And then we've got our punch here. And... I'm just going to punch this out. Notice I'm doing it upside down for those of you that are new to punching. Um, yes, we do have the foil, which is great to find out if your stamp fits because then you can just put it on top of there and see. But I always like to see where it actually physically is cutting out. I know. It's just one of my things. So, so I've got my saying here and I'm going to get some more dimensionals because we don't have enough on here. We're going to do a couple more and we're going to line this up this way and stick this down. And that my dear friends is my first Christmas card of the season. <laughs> Here it goes, right? <laughs> yes, we won't forget fall. Yes, we will not forget for Thanksgiving more than likely. Um, for those of you that have been with me a couple of years, you will probably remember the turkey card that we did. And I will never forget Karen putting those out as her um, place cards, I guess you would say. And it said something to the effect of Happy Thanksgiving Day, Happy Turkey Day, may you not be the turkey or something at my table. It was something, I still have it in my book. It just really cracked me up. So anyways, I know all these fun little things that happen. It's why I love doing this. So I'm going to sign my back of my card. One thing to note, when you have all this paper, your card is a tiny bit heavier. So you wanna make sure to account for that because if you're doing 200 of these and have to pay for extra postage, it, it's already expensive, but it gets expensive <laughs> when you have to pay extra because you haven't planned well. So make sure that if you're doing a card, when you finish your first sample, you'll weigh it and make sure it's under an ounce. Actually, you make sure it's under about three quarters of an ounce, that it's not too bumpy and that it flexes. And if you have a lot of jewels and stuff that you can slip a piece of paper. So you need to like do the whole package, weigh it and make sure it's under an ounce so you don't have extra postage. I am just giving you a couple tips because I have done it where I have done 200 when we had the finance office and ended up paying an extra 30 or 40 cents a piece at the time. And that was more money than I was planning on. So I just want to give you a heads up. So that way you are familiar with the rules and don't get surprised. Because they're, I don't know about you, but I do not like surprises. So, well, good surprises. But even then it's debatable. Just ask Joel. So anyways, so first card, first Christmas card. Yay. <laughs> On it goes. The air conditioning is on and it's only 95 still in the desert at 720 at night. So yes, Christmas in July. Here we go. Here's your first card. So follow me, stampingwithjohnny.com. Thank you so much for joining me tonight and have a great night. Remember next week I will have 
a really nice promo or something going on, but I will not be live. So I will be walking in the trees. So talk to you later. Thank you. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.